guys, so since it's practically summer, I thought that I would share with you my summer essentials. And when I say summer essentials, it doesn't mean that it's like necessary for summer. It just means that it's stuff that I like to use and that I use a lot in the summertime. So I picked out a bunch of makeup items, fashion pieces, and even apps that I thought would be helpful for you guys in the summer. Be sure to like this video and let's get started. So the first essential that I have is sunglasses and I like to go for cheap sunglasses because I lose mine constantly and I scratch mine and I'm afraid that I'm going to break them. Um, these ones are from Forever 21 and I literally got them for $5. I think they're super cute. Definitely go for the style that works best for your face and honestly I like the cheap sunglasses more because I'm so worried with like Ray-Bans or something that I'm going to break it and you can get like 10 pairs of these and still be way under the cost of like a pair of Ray-Bans. These are really cute and if they break, I'm not gonna be worried about it. So now I have two apps for you guys. The first is Instagram. I'm literally on Instagram all the time during the summer and I'm obsessed with following like those really summery like Tumblr feed accounts. I don't know why, I just think that summer pictures are so cute. Plus people go on a lot of vacations during the summertime and it's just a great way to like share all those photos and stuff so it may seem pretty basic but Instagram and if you want to follow me there here's my username and stuff. The next app is one that is not talked about enough and it is the Cinch Polls app. Man this is a lifesaver. The Cinch Polls app is free and I don't know about you guys but I love free apps like I'm not paying 99 cents of that no. Cinch Pulls app, it's free. And basically it's a place where you can ask for honest opinions. There's a variety of categories and it's really addicting to like vote on people's polls, just saying because like some are kind of funny. If you want that Tumblr-esque feed and you don't know which picture to post on Instagram, or if you have a June wedding but you don't know which dress to wear, the Cinch Pull app is so helpful. I almost forgot, if you want to follow me on Cinch, my username is at Miss underscore Sydney 18 and you guys can help me out with some opinions that I need. My next essential is BB cream, especially if you wear a foundation normally every day because I find it's very important to give your skin kind of a break in the summer and just let it be free because who do you have to see anyways, right? BB cream is super nice because it's lightweight and a lot of them come with SPF, so if you burn in the summer very easily, then I would highly suggest that you get one with SPF. And if you're confident enough to go without any face makeup, then just ditch it all because you are beautiful. The next makeup essential kind of goes along with the last one, and that is baby lips or just any lip balm, especially one with SPF because your lips can get burned, and that's painful. I know for a fact that this Pink Punch Baby Lips has SPF 20, so that's definitely going to help out your lips a bit. And if you don't have this one, there are plenty of others. I know the EOS Lemon Lip Balm one has SPF in it, so just look for that on the packaging because it's really important that you don't burn your lips. Alright, I have three fashion essentials, and the first is just I'm so obsessed with it, I can't even form words right now. Off the shoulder tops. Yes. I'm slowly joining the bandwagon of off-the-shoulder tops. I think they're so cute. This is the one that I have. It's from H&M and it probably looks familiar if you guys saw my summer haul video. These tops are so comfortable yet they're so fashionable and cute and I'm just so obsessed with them. Like if you don't have one, you should really go get one. There's an open drawer where this goes and I'm going to try to make it. It fell. Okay, so this next essential is kind of obvious, but just let me explain. Swimsuits. I spend like half of my summer in the water, whether it's the beach, the lake, the pool, whatever it is, and obviously you're gonna need some swimsuits for that. I don't really like to match my swimsuits. I like them to mix and match, but like still match color, so I'll show you guys a few examples. So the first top and bottom that I like to wear together are this top and these bottoms. So the top is the flounce top from Victoria's Secret and I really love the way that the back looks. I think it looks so cool and this is literally so comfortable and really cute. I don't even know how to describe it. It's just, it's bae pretty much. I also like to wear this top and these bottoms together. Both are from Old Navy and the top is a mint green color and it kind of just reminds me of a bow 
And then the bottoms are really patterned and funky and I really like them. They kind of have this like Aztec tribal pattern, but they're so colorful and this green on here matches this green and I just think they look so cute together. A bunch of places sell swimsuits. I usually get mine at Target, Kohl's, or Victoria's Secret. Don't feel like you have to go out and buy a super expensive bathing suit. Side note, get black bottoms. They will go with literally every swimsuit you own. These babies, I have this pair of flip-flops and they are Sanuk flip-flops or Sanuk. I don't really know how to say that, but um, they're like made out of yoga mats or whatever. They're so comfy. If you can't walk without pain for multiple hours around downtown or Disney World or wherever the heck you are, then they're not considered comfortable. Your feet are more important than how cute you look, I think. My next essential is a wet brush, and if you have never heard of a wet brush, you are seriously missing out. What a wet brush does is it runs through your hair and gets out all the knots, but it doesn't pull out your hair. I have such thick hair, so whenever I use normal hair brushes, I'm literally like this and like crying of pain because it hurts so bad. Like the name implies, this is also great for wet hair, and it works especially well on wet hair and you have wet hair a lot in the summer and how many times am I gonna say wet hair? I don't know. The last essential I have is a waterproof case. This is just a pink life proof that I have. These are really helpful if you're by the ocean or at the pool because I'm always so nervous that I'm gonna drop my phone and that would be absolutely horrible, but if I drop it while it's in this, I don't have to worry about it. I know that these can get a bit pricey, but if you buy the water a lot, I think it's worth it. All right, so those are all of the essentials that I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you very soon. Bye! Don't believe me, just watch!